Hello boys and girls. Well today we have the story Monarch Butterfly and it's written and illustrated by Gail Gibbons. But I'm going to tell you something about today's story. I'm not going to read it all because I don't want to give you some of the information that we need to wait for after our chrysalis have had butterflies emerge from them. So, and some of you have seen our chrysalis and some of you haven't. So I'm going to get my little chrysalis here and bring it over so you can see. So we have our chrysalis right here. All right, bring it right on in there. So you can see it hanging on the branch. And just when you thought couldn't have any more fun, we have another one right here. So we have two chrysalis on this container. I have seven in my other container and I have three that are three caterpillars waiting to turn into chrysalis. So add that all up and see how many we have. We're going to get some information about our chrysalis from in here. Monarch Butterfly by Gail Gibbons. A monarch butterfly settles on the leaf of a milkweed plant. She gently presses a tiny egg onto one of its leaves. The egg is the beginning of another monarch butterfly by Gail Gibbons. So there was a page before the title page about the information we're going to see in this story. Awesome. It's summertime in the north. A breeze stirs the stem of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and it sticks to the leaf. It is really small. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Ah, moving my finger the wrong way. Get up there. When the butterfly lays the egg, she makes it sticky. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called a larva. First, the caterpillar eats the eggshell and then chews away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant. The plant will be the caterpillar's food. So here we can see the teeny tiny caterpillar that's come out. And over on this page, the egg. Eat. Right there. Right there. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. So there we see the caterpillar molting. It's shedding off its old skin. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats. It molts about five times. Finally, it is a full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. Now, something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of a leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first, making itself into a, what letter? J, you're right. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. It's becoming a bit greenish. Then the skin splits and moves up to the top Kind of like when you take off your sweater or your um, clothes to get into your PJs. The skin falls off. A new strange form appears. It is called the chrysalis or pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that is wrapped around the body that is growing inside.
At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, 14 days, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray and then gray green before becoming transparent. Inside are white dots and orange and black lines. Do you know what's inside there now? If you said a butterfly, you're right. And what kind of butterfly? If you said a monarch, you're right. The chrysalis wiggles, then it splits open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. The head and legs appear first, and then the rest of it slides out. The wings are tiny and stuck together. And the butterfly's abdomen, that's your belly, is really big. The abdomen becomes smaller when its fluid is pumped into the wings. The wings become bigger. A caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they become, begin to move slowly, and then they beat faster and faster. The butterfly flutters up towards the sky. Monarchs, they taste bad, and they will make most birds and animals sick if they are eaten. So most of the time, they are left alone. Now, you can see I put a paper clip here, because that's where we're gonna stop reading because we don't want to get too far ahead of where we are. So in our book, we saw that the chrysalis was attached to the stem of a leaf. We saw that the caterpillar had made a J after it had attached itself by a little web. And so that's exactly what happened to ours. He attached himself right here and attached on the branch. Now he's hanging right here. And this one attached to the leaf. So we're going to wait and see what happens to our chrysalis. Right now they're still green. They haven't gone greenish gray yet. Then they, they say they turn transparent, but it almost looks black. We'll keep an eye on them. All right, team. Below you will find a video of an actual caterpillar turning into a chrysalis that we did right here in the classroom. It was really fun. All right, scientists, keep your eyes open. You'll never know what you'll observe or what you'll see. See you later, guys. Bye.